Hey folks, it's February 14th, 2023, and Adobe sent out a little Valentine to all of the photographers out there in the form of some small point updates to the Lightroom and Photoshop ecosystem. In this video, I'll show you some of the tweaks that they made to Lightroom Classic for version 12.2. Along with support for new cameras, lenses, and a number of bug fixes, they did make a few small enhancements to the program. The first one I want to show you is in the map module, where you now have the ability to show more or less labels. There's a little checkbox down here on the toolbar, and if I check it, it'll show me a lot more labels on the map. But if you find that's too cluttered, you can uncheck that, and it'll show you far less labels. The next improvement I want to point out is a little change that they made to the history panel. What they've done is they've made it just a little bit easier for you to back up a bunch of steps and clear out the history that's involved in those steps. So if you hold down the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on a Windows and click on any history state, it'll clear everything after that. So if I wanted to, I could jump back quite a bit, Option click this, particular state of history and it'll clear out everything moving forward. It's just sort of an easier way to do something that used to take a couple of steps. They made a number of improvements to the performance of how keywording works, adding, deleting, and finding keywords, but that's more of a bug fix and not particularly a new feature. What is a new feature is the ability to export your keyword lists in two different ways one of which includes the options that you can have on an individual keyword. So what do I mean by keyword options? Well, if I double click on one of my keywords here, you'll see that along with the actual keyword tag itself and a field where you could fill in synonyms for that keyword are some tag options that you can optionally turn on for any given keyword, like whether it will be included on an export whether that export will include the containing keywords, whether that export will have the synonyms as well, and if the keyword is a person. So what Adobe has done is they've given us two different ways to export our keywords. If you go up under the metadata menu in the library module, and you go down to export keywords, you'll now see two submenu items. One says to include the keyword tag options, the ones we were just looking at, and the other one will exclude the keyword tab options. If you choose the first one to include the keyword tag options, you'll end up with a CSV or comma separated variable file, basically a spreadsheet. And all of your keywords will be in a flat hierarchy, but they'll have columns next to them indicating if they were selected for export, if they're a person keyword, if we're exporting the synonyms, and then if you use the regular type and you exclude the keyword tag options, you're going to get a text file and it's going to look like the traditional export we've seen in the past. So here's the traditional export where you can see your keyword hierarchy. And then here's the new feature which will include columns giving you information about each of your keywords. If it was included on export, if you're using the containing keywords, synonyms, and if it's a people keyword or person keyword. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the Lightroom Classic 12.2 release also includes a variety of bug fixes, new camera support, including the R8, R50 mirrorless cameras, and the Samsung Galaxy S23, and support for new lenses like Canon's 24-50, to 55-210, and all of the lenses that are on that new Samsung Galaxy S23. So that's all the new updates that they've put into Lightroom Classic 12.2.